Hello and welcome to CCIEadvisor.com. In this lesson we will be creating a VLAN on a catalyst switch for voice. Now the main point here is that we're, we're going to name it correctly and that will help you later on. So it's the same kind of configuration as we use for the data VLAN configuration. We are at the enable prompt and we can type configure terminal or conf space T hit the enter key and then the keyword here is VLAN, virtual LAN, and we are going to name this VLAN VLAN 110. It's a small, smaller sized company. We want to make them name some kind of naming convention that everybody agrees on. If you're the architect and the engineer, then great, you can agree with yourself. So, in this case, we're going to name this VLAN. Um, uh, we're going to we're going to give it the number, the VLAN number 110 for the 10th floor voice VLAN because we named the data VLAN VLAN 10. So you can you can do whatever you want. You can have 10 and 11. It doesn't matter. Um, so we'll just use 110 in this example. You can hash that out with yourself or your manager. You can see here VLAN space 110 hit the question mark there's nothing left but the carriage return go ahead and do that and now we are within the VLAN we've created the VLAN it's a layer 2 VLAN and we're gonna give it a name okay so let's give it a name that makes sense for us we said that this is gonna be a voice VLAN so we don't use the description uh, keyword here we use the name keyword okay so in the VLAN configuration mode you type the word name question mark and this is what we're going to call it. So it's an ASCII name. In other words, just write your text, whatever you want. And we're going to call it 10th underscore floor voice as opposed to data. And now we can rest assured that it's there. We can go ahead and check with one of the commands that we've covered before, which is show VLAN show space VLAN, hit the enter key, and there it is. 10th floor data is VLAN number 10. 10th floor voice is 110. And now it kind of makes sense to your help desk and other people that are troubleshooting, you know, anything that has the VLAN that has the number 10 in it is going to be for the 10th floor. You know, if it's a smaller shop, this is real easy. If it's bigger, you're going to get a little bit more sophisticated, but that's fine. Um, Hit Control C to get out of this. We can do a write to memory, a WR space mem, or WR space m, em. Any any variation of that is going to be fine. And so we know that we've got this configured now. And thank you for joining us for creating this voice VLAN. On the other lesson, we're going to go ahead and apply it to an interface. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.